So this is a hydraulic arm we've done for uh, loading laser tables. The main reason we built a hydraulic arm for picking up sheet metal is that they had an issue with the sheet metal sticking because of the oily sheet metal sticking in between each, uh, each lift. So what was happening was they were picking up two or three sheets at a time and then all of a sudden two of the bottom sheets would drop off. So we built a hydraulic version of the arm because hydraulic fluid is not as compressible as air. And when you lift it up and you drop apart, the hydraulic fluid keeps it from falling or from jumping quickly. So we have a rigid manipulator arm here, controlled with a hydraulic cylinder back there and a hydraulic power unit. We'll turn that on in a minute. Um, due to different widths, we've put a vacuum lifter on here that can extend or retract. We also have a brake right here. If I turn that brake on, you're going to see a brake on the secondary arm as well as a brake right here on the primary arm. Uh, there is also a pilot operated check valve right here that prevents the release of the part uh, if you lose plant air. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, the motor for the hydraulic unit here. I wanted to mention that the up-down controls right here are fully proportional, which I'll show. So you can lift this thing up slowly or lift, or lift faster depending on how far, how far you actually push down the buttons themselves. Hit the common button with the grip. I've gone to the green range, so it's safe to lift. Pull this back. Fairly easy to push, but you're pushing against the knuckle. This arm is lifting, this is about a 300 pound plate, but this arm has a capacity of 600 pounds. 